Hello everyone, this is Lucas. I will be your broadcaster and shoutcaster today. Welcome to our final streamed game of the regular League of Legends season this 2023 spring season. So happy to be here and today I'll be joined with uh, hey, hello, uh, I'm Alfred Lee from Brooklyn Tech, I'm a sophomore, and yeah, pretty exciting game. This is the last one we got This is uh, up until playoffs. Yep, we've gone pretty far to get here, a few hit and misses there, but overall, very happy with how this season has gone for everyone, both the players, the teams, the captains, and all of the staff we've had. It's been wonderful being here, I'm glad I've been able to like be a part of this with all of you guys. You know, we're getting ready to get this game, the show on the road. Today it's going to be Brooklyn Tech versus Staten Island Tech. This is very we got the battle of the techs over here. This yep. is gonna be hopefully a very exciting match. Burrow versus Burrow. Burrow versus Burrow. I wonder how this one's gonna go. We should be ready to start shortly so that while we're just waiting to catch up i think i would like to say that this is the last weekend of games before we finish the season so with our playoffs upcoming we're happy that this is how the season has gone and that we will we'll have more information about playoffs upcoming soon but we know it's going to be a ex super exciting experience for everyone. So we yeah. hope you guys will continue to support us and as we keep going through the season. Stay tuned for the playoffs. Uh, it'll happen somewhere in the near future, hopefully. Yep, but that was for another announcement. I think we are ready to get into the ready game start? now. Just confirming with our lovely teams here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't. I genuinely cannot predict how this game is gonna go. On both sides, we have pretty excellent teams. Yeah. I'm not sure the exact standings of both, but I know that Staten Island Tech has done exceedingly well in the season. Since the first game I streamed with them in the very first streamed game against Stai. Uh, we we just see a bit of Staten Island Tech having a higher ranks than Brooklyn Tech. But who knows, since get, getting your rank happens in solo queue while this is a planned game with your teammates communicating. Excuse me. <laughs> Oh, can you just do a volume check for me, Alfred? Uh, yep, volume's working. Uh, here are the pings. All right, it's lovely. I will have the chat up the whole time as well. Hopefully, you guys are as excited for this as we are. Uh, it seems they are getting ready. They are currently designing their drafts right now. They do have some pretty important prio picks on both sides, I believe. Mm. Not as much against teams like Stai, where they they have like very obvious picks and bans. Yeah. But Brooklyn Tech does have their fair share of seeming one tricks on both sides, of course. We do see arrow liners a lot on a very heavy DPS picks like the Yon, Silas, but the same can be said about players like uh, Dark Raid. Is he even in today's game? <laughs> I mean, throughout the season, we've seen a lot of Jace, Diana, and a lot of focus on the ADC. ADC is a very important role right now. But yeah. in today's... I was just taking time to appreciate how large Brooklyn Tech's roster is. I'm like trying to figure out who exactly is playing in this roster here. They have a very large club that's very surprising and very yeah, unique. It's big. Honestly, a little jealous as the head of the Francis Lewis Club to have that much support for a team. It brings a tear to my eye, truly. 
I mean, you gotta take into consideration Brooklyn Tech is massive. Ah, but still, the dedication to play through the whole season, barely missing any games, having this many yeah. players, it's it's very beautiful. These are the kind of players that we hope we continue to get as we keep going through our seasons. Okay. And... I... They're in. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Their, their draft must be extremely interesting. Oh, that, well, at least we know that Jace is. Yeah. Jace is still up there. Oh, man. <laughs> They're fighting over Jace. Who on Staten Island plays Jace in the first place? Oh, Beer Nasher. The Voldebert one trick apparently plays Jace, ladies and gentlemen. This is news to me. Well, I, I truly wonder why. Why is there so many Jace picks this season? We, we've seen a lot of top, we've seen a lot mid. Nope, nope, okay. My team is poor. <laughs> okay. So at least that you're taking into into hindsight what has happened in previous streams where oh, yeah, players right. have not owned every champion, so they are taking that into account. Right. Uh, extremely curious. I think for one of the previous games, did not own Viego. And Viego. That, yeah. yeah, that caused a lot. That that has happened to many teams. Many teams have been victim of said poorness and blue essence, and it's. Honestly, I still point the blame at Riot. I think that many of the, they, I think they recently lowered the prices of every champs, and yeah. I think that was very much needed. Even though I still don't own every character at level six hundred, so oh, yes, we finally, oh, and we are, we're in. We are hopping into champ select. Let <laughs> Success. Us, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let us go. So now, let All us right. see how this draft really plays out here. Alright, we're on to our first bands from Brooklyn Tech. And what do they hover? Surely they do not miss bands in the actual draft like they were on the website. Yeah. And we see the first band is Melio. Gosh, oh. Going straight for the bot side for both teams. That's very iconic, to be honest. And yeah. there are very oh. few teams where I see many top side bands. Looks like all the bands are they are, they already know what they're banning. Ah, uh, Annie. Annie, Emilio, and Nunu and Willem. Nunu and Willem. Nunu and Willem is quite possibly the that's the first time I have seen that champion banned in a competitive environment in a Ooh, very okay. long time. So I'm very it's curious warm. as to oh, who plays Nunu and Willem. <laughs> Back from Jinx as their ADC for Stand On Tech. Wait, okay, wait, wait. I'm I'm sorry, but this is absolutely hilarious to me. But in the only person I see who plays Nunu on Stand On Tech is Beer and Not Sure with a zero percent win rate over two games. <laughs> so I am not entirely sure where that band is coming from, but I guess they have insider knowledge that such a pick is to be feared. I mean. It's Real interesting. This is real interesting. This this champion select. This is just this is just throwing like curveballs at me from every direction. None of these picks are like fitting None into of my my esports brain. I am looking at like highly NA solo queue draft right here. I feel like I am playing a ranked game, and it is making me very excited. Like this. <laughs> This is very so, so iconic. Some of these bands are a bit awkward as well. Yes, sir. I feel like that might be a result of mistiming due to them having it drafted on Pro Draft for the sake of like picking characters they all own. But at the same time, it really makes you wonder how were these picked in the fact that we have very... Like they they picked Garen. <laughs> okay, I, uh, uh, I I know it's a trend with Brooklyn, uh, Brooklyn Tech fans is that they're all like small characters. 
<laughs> ah, all right, maybe maybe we do got a theme going on here as well. I don't know. Is Brooklyn Tech trolling just because it's a final game? I don't know. It, it's pretty funny to think if it'd be pretty funny to see if they were trolling. Nah, I yeah, I, I want to give them the the benefit of the doubt here and saying that those are all like professional pick bands against a team that they maybe have screamed against heavily like like maybe they just have knowledge that i don't have as like a competitor you know i don't yeah, remember right. the last time i played against Staten island tech in fact so like nah. this is all all of these picks are quite the shocker to me um, I, I, do I don't understand very, myself. Yeah, these, these are going like a little bit closer to like modern day drafting i think in the in the last two picks on both sides at the very least the olivia and soraka pick from staten island tech i want to say i have respect for but i don't because both of those characters in my opinion oh, yeah. are not enjoyable to play against in my experience against solo queue but it makes more sense that those characters are being picked compared to some of the other more unusual picks that both of these teams can have in their back pockets. So, like, it, it brought me back to, like, a sense of normalcy, you know? Like, a, like inner peace in this draft. Some of these picks we have never seen before, and these are probably the only times they're going to get picked. I mean, like, hey, it's the finals, right? So we need to have some... Some new show, some new flair, maybe yeah. get this show on the road, you know? Yeah. Hopefully, this looks like to me it's gonna be an explosive game. But Brooklyn yeah, Tech does well. have a, like a slow scaling team. Both teams honestly have like slow scaling, but with like a few explosive points here and there. So, like, you got a hecker on Brooklyn Tech. Hopefully, can run around, just get his whole team ahead. But at the same time, you have like very strong meta picks, the Jinx and the Lilia, the Jace, that maybe just do what meta champs do, you know? Yeah. Meta with like an asterisk here. I have a lot of bias against them. So. Definitely, Brooklyn Tech has a lot more team fighting. Orn, Hecarim, Zaya, and Vladimir. Uh, all, all their alts can combo and synergize with each other pretty well. That is very true. You might see a lot of focus on team fighting here. No, maybe, maybe not. It depends. I, how familiar are you with both of the playstyles for these teams? Like, can uh... you look at them and go like, yeah, I think they will do this because. For Staten Island Tech, I believe that they, they really do play, like, very, I don't want to say isolated, but in my experience against Staten Island Tech, usually it's been one lane or, like, solo advantages get pushed across the map rather than teams, like, coming together to really stop, you know? I feel, I feel like for Brooklyn Tech, it's, it's either all or nothing. Oh. They either win lane or they don't. They win lane or they don't. Okay. Well, that certainly will put this game a very dangerous edge for them. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of true, though, because... Well... I don't remember the exact match, but... Uh, in There was a match, I think, from Brooklyn Tech where we saw two out of three lanes win. And... That last lane was the cause of downfall. Uh, well, it is very unfortunate. I'm like, it happens to the rest of us, right? Yeah. But at the same time, for a very, for the very last game, hopefully that explosiveness that Brooklyn Tech can have can like skyrocket this game into like one of the most exciting games we've had so far. Mm hmm. We're going in five seconds left on the spectator delay. Alright, let's take a look at the... And we're off. Chat, we are off. Three. 
did the did the betting on Twitch already happen? I think I missed it. I'm not sure what what happens. Oh, it's your prediction. The prediction is heavily favored to Staten Island Titans in the understandable the prediction pool on Twitch, oh, with eight people to two. That Yikes. is. Oh, what the? Okay, my phone just started automatically playing Instagram reels. They they know yo. They know. They know. They're we're about to see a sick highlight clip. Speaking of Instagram Reels, you should probably... Is ESU Sports do Instagram Reels, actually, now that I think about it, before I, like, shamelessly plug them and I don't even know? (laughs) I don't know. That's something I have to go check. Uh, Well, okay. I got the spectator bug, so I am going to just fix that real quick. Because we We love love the Riot Client! We love League of Legends! We love Riot Client! It is not broken whatsoever. Yeah, quick fix. I still am absolutely ecstatic that in the very first game that we had, that this issue was able to be completely bootlegged fix. I'm not sure how many times this has been used, but it's absolutely hilarious to me that this is like an actively occurring thing that needs to be happening. Shoot against work. So we oh, are right, good games. here. And we are good to go. All right. All right. So we're starting off. Uh, let's see. Uh, looks like. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait. We see a five-man a group of on Stanley Tech on top side. Maybe we're looking for something. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. Oh. There we go. Oh wow, <laughs> wow, they went for full cheese, wow. Okay. Alright, Alright, Sad. So right, yeah, normal or I don't really know if you can call this a normal start by Staten Island Zek. They somehow found their way inside Brooklyn Tech's jungle and I mean we do see a little bit of a camping scenario here, but Brooklyn Tech does seem to be in the know of this. You do see their bot lane coming up. Oh. Ooh. And there's not, not that much of a trade going on. He's got both top laners here. Ooh. Brooklyn Tech does seem to be moving on this, though. That's a lot of damage. He just goes with the whole team up here. Surely. Oh, but everyone's here. You're an Asher. Flashes out. Flash. The whole game of Brooklyn Tech is up here for Everyone Garen is Flash. This is quite quite the start of the game for Brooklyn Tech. We'd... Yep. Who would have thought the entire Smash Bros. roster would be there on the blue buff? Everyone is here, said Brooklyn Tech, as they defend Hecarim's blue buff. Now, whether that will have detrimental effects on their bot lane is to be seen, but... That is a full wave of XP lost for both the ADC and the support without much game. So. Oh, that's a full Conqueror stock. And the Ooh, nice. Very oh, close. Very close by Blue Nasher. Sure. But yeah, this is now quite very awkward state for Vulcan Tech. As with such an aggressive start, Staten Island Tech really didn't lose that much. Both of their solo lanes were able to gain advantages with the Ignite Garen having so much pressure against the defensive tank by Corrin early. So it was really both these lanes were just put to a standstill by the early fighting that really had no effect for either team. Yeah, pretty big. Do see. Uh, oh. Kitchen Lover hovering in the top side, and trading in the bot side. Hecarim is full clearing, Epic Gamer. He is hopefully pathing to help his bot side. Possibly a dive moving top. You see Jace moving up as well. Oh, we do got a dive going on top. Oh, we do have that? Can Jim Tastic get away with the kill? And the first oh. blood goes to Jim Tastic! Oh, 
Can he get the outplay? The double kill oh, the is double. fantastic! Oh my goodness. It looked like a rough start. Just suddenly became so favored with Open Tech. He just took that two-man dive with such little HP and he turned it completely around. Super well played by Gymnastic. Ooh. Another double kill bot. All of Brooklyn oh. Tech just scored solo oh, kills on their laners. What the like a solo kill on Genyuki by airliners just completely turned around. You weren't able to see what was going on. But at the same time, their Brooklyn Tech bot lane was able to just completely turn around what should have been with a gank from Evergamer Cool from his full clear. You were able to 2v2 kill with a nice chunk. Amazing wow. start by Brooklyn Tech. Up already by 2k gold. And just like Evan that, Gamer the Cole? position seemed reversed between these two teams. With Evan Gamer able to just walk into Kitchen of the Jungle without any fear, just like at the start of the game. Wow. Can we see Evan uh, Gamer Cool salvaging uh, mid wave? We do see neither jungler going for this first drag spawn, with both bot lanes just getting to lane now. It's gonna be very rough for uh, Stana and Tech to try and recover from this one, but it is possible. Well, it is the early game, right? So we did yeah. say in the champs like that both teams were very slow scaling. So with only around a 1k gold lead, it's not just over yet. So we'll, we will see if maybe some help from Kitchen Lover can get Staten Island Tech back into this lead that some of their characters need to stay a little bit. We do see Garen hitting goal of a 6 on this L, all in. Here, Nasher trying to get the kill. But Orn is just too tanky right now. Wow. Aerolite are unable to engage on uh, on Yuki with just that Vladimir pool. These very passive lanes seem to be getting the better of Saturn oh. Tech. Big engage by Fantastic. Even a level down, he's able to outtrade oh. here and Asher. It was just shows really just how much that early gold matters. Gun Yuki himself going for a separate all in, taking quite a similar trade with very, very both laners getting to such low HP. We'll see if Jim Tastic here can oh. get anything. And. Oh! Er, Vera Nasher does secure that kill with the night, the kill pressure that he's been holding on to this whole time. Recovering that much from that early dive with his quite large CSD. We do see Brooklyn Tech's bot lane going for another all in. Boots summons coming Ender out Dragon. from Staten Island Tech here. My Ender Dragon might oh. Angelica oh. went for the aggressive oh, play and got punished. Evan Cool is here! Evan Gamer Cool, can he pick up both? He definitely picks up Extremely Curious, making that quite the worth trade for. That for Brooklyn Tech, even though they did lose one, but losing an ADC on such a huge wave is going to be very detrimental to Extremely Curious scaling on such a late game pick like Jinx. Uh. This is a very, very, both teams looking incredibly bloodthirsty with their trading here, making it to look like this is going to be one of the most exciting games we've had so far. With already only seven minutes in, there's eight kills on the board. Oh, he's looking. No, he wants it. No, Mirror Nasher is full level up. He's trying to heavy trade against this orn. And we saw it work last time with the all in potential he has if summoner spells are up. But Jimtastic just has that early armor going for the early sunfire that he just shrugs it off. And we'll see how much oh. he can get in this wave state. We see both junglers looking towards the top side as well, with Epic Gamer starting the Herald. So, we do see Staten Island Tech both moving up. The Jace will spot the Hecarim. Oh. Jim's has to looking like in a little trouble. We've seen this one before. 
but this time they learn from their mistakes and they don't go for that heavy dive. Fantastic getting a little ballsy, moving that close to the Garen, that little HP, and then actually just out of range to secure that kill with the justice of Demacia. Now, this is greedy from Jintastic. Yeah, <laughs> that, he had ult. We could have seen that one coming from a mile away, but... And those creeps, man, they do that to you. Yeah. Gotta get those cannons. And we see, right now, the Staten Island Tech has actually turned their gold, gold lead around. They're the ones in the lead now. Even though being 3-6, Staten Island Tech is... Uh, triumphing see these are the leads from the from just pure CS from the lane advantages that Silent Tech has with these passive picks from Brooklyn Tech. So we have the here and Asher able to play super aggressive and fantastic. Extremely curious, even with that last death, still being even and a little bit ahead of Ender Dragon because of the early delay. At least in pure CS numbers. Oh, they're looking for the drag. Looks like they're gonna catch it. Without pressure in mid and bot, Brooklyn Tech is not able to contest that dragon. You see Epic Gamer just passively farming, trying to stay ahead in his levels. You do got fights going on in both mid and bot on both sides. And then yep. Yuki taking a big chunk and with both mid laners taking large chunks there in the big fight, we do have some other spells up on both of them still. So it could be explosive here if either of them tries to go for a fight. Oh, looking for it. Ooh, oh, then flash Yuki flashes in. in. Oh, and that's it. That is it. <laughs> that's both the flash and ignite. Maybe a misplay from Ganyuki, or maybe damage. Oh, oh and, and the snipe from Extremely Curious picks up that misplay from Ganyuki, taking too uh, much damage from that attempted all in. Fantastic here trying to break the freeze that your Nash was setting up. But he looks like he's going oh, here for as much as possible, going for the all in here, able to chunk out the Fear Nash on the gear. And they kind of in bad position. Angelica does get caught out without. And your dragon there with to support them. Once again, Gymtastic is playing super aggressive against this against Beer Nashville. You see the knight coming out, and the kill is the almost there. Lives with barely almost nothing. Every gamer comes in for the support. What is Fourth going on here? So close, Beer Nashville almost picks up the kill oh. and trade in the 2v1 flash coming out of Gymtastic, but. That would be what we call in the business a jungle gap, fellas. Oh, well, flash! Huge oh! play by Ender Dragon. But typical sounds is there with the flash, the summoner spells to heal is what the Soraka does best. And extremely curious comes out in that one v one trade. Very good attempt by Ender Dragon, though, trying to take advantage of the Jinx's positioning close to the tower. But unfortunately, just slightly short of the damage needed to go. Oh, is he got Yuki moving down? Up? Maybe he can make a play, trade for his lost DC. Can you hear the ping is going off? Oh. Angelica and Gun Yuki do look to be going for some cool sounds, but Kitchen Lover oh, is here to make a play. And they trade one for one again. So look and tech going. Major negative on that play, losing two for one with so many spells burned. Wow, just a few points. Oh, an arrow liner is just completely stomps Ever Gamer Cool like, to the skies, coming out just full of combos, and he's gone. Arrow liner is just showing dominance in his mid lane. And one item, Jace hitting a spike, just able to punish Greedy Jungler going for mid CS. And he takes so much for it as a result. Airliner's not showing a significant lead here. We see Brooklyn Tech and Staten are now equal in kills, but uh, Staten Island Tech is up in gold. Staten Island Tech is going for very aggressive plays oh! here, but 
huge ult from Angelica comes out. They're able to make a big play happen here. But Andrew Dragon goes down, not having the, the not having his E ups recall his feathers and pick up the kill on the extremely furious. And very upsetting. With such a huge encore coming out. Or you know, such a pound out on the sword you know, And Joe oh, is looking for the sword field, he's extremely curious though. He's able to oh, pick I up see. the 600 bounty. Wow. That was a greedy back place for from the stream of periods. Oh, and here comes the other cool. He's looking for their he's looking for airliners to shut down this Jace, maybe get revenge for his last death to him in the mid lane. But the phase rush comes out and airliners just walks away. Unfortunate. And Yuki's looking to pick oh, it up he, himself. He's going for it. He wants it, but the Soraka ult. Yeah, the Soraka ult blocks the damage essentially from the ignite coming out of Gan Yuki. Oh, here comes Soraka. His E not hitting. And the gamer pulls back, but he doesn't have his ultimate up. There's nothing comes out of it. We see a uh, kitchen lover coming down to close and uh, pincer uh, Brooklyn Tech, and it looks like they're both just going to be going down. They get oh. over with the blast cone, but it's, they're completely it's cornered. cornered in the Baron pit, and they both go down. It's just an aggressive play by Brooklyn Tech. I'm gonna say, I'm going through my water so quickly. This is such an aggressive game by both teams. So many plays going on at once. Sound on Tech just trying to own the map, get these towers. And Gymtastic's just forced to watch as his tower falls. Oh, and goes for the Gymtastic might be dead here. And oh. for Demacia, Gymtastic goes down once again. From such an early start, you do see the power that an aggressive pick and the Ignite Garen has over a slow scaling pick like Orn. We see the pink is going crazy. I don't know from which side it's from, but they're there. I do believe that is from Staten Island Tech, just as Kitchen Lover gets the drag. Not entirely sure, maybe just some friendly banter. This is quite the hectic game. Yeah. We do see again Yuki looking close to getting caught out by airliners. He's making the fight, but he doesn't have the damage to make him to pick him off himself, so he has to, he's forced to use the flash. Here comes the Gamer Cool. And the Gamer Cool comes in and he's looking for the kill on the extremely sure. And here's the rest of the team. There. Kitchen Lover is gits completely caught out by Ender Dragon. Oh my goodness, we got people yeah, falling on both down. sides. Extremely curious is able to pick up two in the trading one for two overall. Well played by wow. Ender Dragon to pick up Kitchen Lover, but at the same time, every game were cool. Was completely overextended, dying to dying two v one to the enemy bot lane. Zion Island Tech is up two drags, and the map has changed to Mountain Soul. No, we do see. Oh my goodness. To oh, the skies yeah. coming out once again from airliners. He just completely Goomba stomps gonna be out of this plane of existence. Fantastic once again going for such an aggressive play, but at this yeah, point in the game, Staten Island Tech is just Whoa. running away with it. Their scaling carries are just way too far ahead for Brooklyn Tech to deal with. There's the Jace and the Jinx, both sitting on plenty of gold here. With the Jinx, with uh, extremely curious, almost able to fully buy Infinity Edge, with which he'll, he'll basically just be unstoppable at that point. If a game of cool is forced to run in his own jungle, as Boon Asher just walks in Tuck and autos the blue away from him. Tuck is blue. Now, we're looking from such a great start. Open Tech is just looking on to be such the back pedal in this game. With all of their laners down levels. Yikes. What? 
What just happens? They pause. Um, what's this pause? Okay, oh, well, we're, we're back. back. I'm not sure, entirely sure what happened there. I thought that was my internet, to be honest. That scared me a, a lot. But it does seem to be like a pause from just one of the players. I'm entirely sure what's going on. But the game is just back at the standstill. Nothing to fight for. Both objectives down for another couple of minutes. The Sidon Tech is just looking to push and push and try and get these last remaining tier 2 towers down so they can open up the map even more and have full control of the Vulcan Tech Stronghold. Wow, that, that CS lead makes a huge difference with, uh, with Baron Asher being up almost 90 CS compared to uh, Angelica walking up to that bush trying to just poke at airliners and just so quickly oh. punishing it. what it seems like not even a mistake. But Angelica just goes down with an empowered shock blast and airliners is looking ridiculously strong in this game right now. It's you know, I think for Brooklyn Tech, it's up to Ender Dragon to be to try and be the hero. And we do see Ender Dragon with four kills. He's doing the best on his team, but he is still very far down. 30 CS down his counterpart. He's completely he's fighting it, uh, airliners, and he's able to get out with a really well timed ultimate. But he's just not able to pick up a kill, and he's forced to run away. Use his flash. Oh. The game is going for the Soraka, able to pick up the kill with the extended the Seraphine ult. Airliners finally goes down, if a gamer cool to getting such big plays for his team, able to pick up one of the most fed players. We do see Extremely Curious able to just walk out though, as Brooklyn Tech is forced to back to match Bloom and Ashes foot push. Ever Dragon in a bad spot here, forced to use his ghost as Fear and Asher just runs up, threatening such powerful kill pressure. And Yuki going for the solo yeah, kill on, on Extremely Curious. But he will be picked off for his mistake. Super well played by Extremely Curious just to land all of Jinx's kit there. And show them Yuki that on the same level, that ADC can't just be stomped like that. Oh, wow. That's unfortunate, especially when Dragon's up. Uh, it looks like Evergamer Ghoul did not learn from his past experience with uh, airliners defending that turret. Once oh, again, man. it's crushed by the hammer. Fort down! Here now sure does go down. Unfortunately for Brooklyn Tech to Angelica, the support, such a big bounty. Not going to Ender Dragon, but still the greedy play of Baron Asher. It's just the, almost a display of dominance. Going, you can't defend these towers. Spinning to winning all over Brooklyn Tech. We will go wow. down for such an aggressive play, but not much yeah. is lost for Sad Mountain Tech. It looks like it's a fight for the dragon. With Sad Mountain Tech being the clear winner. Yeah, fight is a little <laughs> much considering the ambush from Airline is just it's sitting in a pink bush. Just completely decimating every game we're cool. Who looked like he had a chance after such a great team fight not too long ago. Zan Alentech is looking just to close out the game with a quick Baron. You see Extremely Curious and Airliners both moving towards the pit. Looking just to cleanly close out the game. Just 12,000 gold ahead. Such a difference from how the start of the game went. Game cool running, sprinting as fast as he can to his alpha fingers. Trying to see if he can make it on time. He can attempt to steal. But the two AD carries, Jason Jinx, able to just shred down there. Didn't even stand a chance. Here comes Baron Nasher. Oh, three on one. Will, will he take the fight? Oh, no. And he, no, no, he does. 
hold down in the 3v1, three levels up on the entirety of Brooklyn Tech. Airline is getting extremely greedy here. She he will go down to Ganyuki. That's only one part of Staten Island Tech's onslaught. And we do see the three matches here. Nasher moving up. Such aggressive. Ooh. My goodness, Enderdrag is able to get such a now. great kick onto Shimitrius. Oh Huge goodness. recall of the feathers, and he's able to pick up all of these kills, bring a little bit of nice. momentum, some hope back into the game, but Vera Nasher is still full HP, such a huge threat on this base. And so close to his Nexus, Ender Dragon is forced to recall, and Vera Nasher is able to just shred the oh. base. <laughs> Typical sounds will go down though, as every gamer cool does a drive by. We'll see. But at the end of the day, even with all those kills, Staten Island Tech walks away with two enemy hits. Looking for more as Airliner's TP's back They're in. They're coming for more, they want more, they want it. Ender Dragon still doesn't have the ultimate up, so he is vulnerable here against such powerful damage from the Airliners. He does almost get completely one shot by Airliners for walking up too far. Every game who almost does the damage to shut down this chase, but the level Not difference enough. between them is just too much. And without without Ender Dragon, there's no sustained damage on Brooklyn Tech. And Beer Nation is just completely shredding the rest of Brooklyn Tech. They're just walking into their base. There's nothing they can do. With so much of their team just gone, Ender Dragon's forced to just try his absolute hardest, just near these still barren waves. You see him, Ender Dragon, going for an aggressive pick, trying to do anything he can to get any pick on while the San on Tech is still isolated. Epic Gamer Cool going completely in last, last ish effort. But it looks like Brooklyn Tech will be going down here. No matter Run how big of an ult from Angelica, it gets pick one. Gan Yuki do something here, pick off. He picks off extremely curious, but Beer Nasher is still just there waiting for him. And the and Nexus will me. go down even through the valiant effort of Brooklyn Tech. It's wow. A, it's such a very bloodthirsty game from both teams playing super aggressive. Ender Dragon pulling out so many great plays. Gamer Cool so close to making comeback kills, but the Staten Island Tech was just too ahead. Were they trying to speedrun this game? Who knows? Yeah. Uh, we should probably do the MVP cam. Yeah, we'll see. I wonder how these players are feeling after such like a adrenaline filled game. Both teams just constantly running at each other and fighting. Airliners doing the most damage in the game, no surprise. Four item Jace able to just decimate the enemy team. You wanna bring airliners in here for an MVP talk? Oh, uh, let's see who they decide is the MVP. And I'm, well, I will guess that it's Airliners. Who has seen this coming? Oh, I actually we see actually it. see they call typical sounds as the Oh, MVP. there's a port! You know what? Soraka yeah, even so, have so much impact. Fair option, because we see a lot of saving with the heals. This is all right, just getting him ready for the interview. Typical sounds. He's such an integral part of so many of the plays. We do remember him able to save extremely curious at so many points, flashing for the sake of his team. But I guess that lead gained for them. All right, I I guess he's ready to come in. Let's see. Let's see what typical sounds has to say here. Well, hello. Uh, hello, hello, oh. Mr. Typical Sounds. How are you feeling after such an explosive game right there? Oh, that was fine, I guess. Oh, no, thanks, Soraka. <laughs> I love Soraka. All right. Well, clearly uh, your team saw plenty of value in what is just the support pick, but it was, like, how do you feel after so many like clutch saves able to hold the lead for your team if you're able to save extremely curious after so many times it's just yeah i know she's kind of 
<clears throat> she's a show, but you know, I gotta help her because she sucks at ADC, but all good. You know, she wanted to right. ADC no. today, so but you know, she played well. Um, I'll give her that, but you know, uh, I hope I get ADC again and not her because she sucks. All good. <laughs> all right, all right. It's even with the sudden roll swap. I'm so glad that you're able to just take this support mindset, just be yeah, there for I'm your it. teammates, <laughs> even though in lane they did seem to not be there completely well, yeah. kudos to you and your team for winning this, this last streamed game of the season you guys did excellent that was incredible playing from all of you yeah. any, um, any you. last words you have to say as the mvp for your team um i was gonna say i think support is op and if you play support you're boosted but all good all right that's so real. You heard it here first, fellas. From the ADC main forced onto his supporting role. I also do believe that this is the first time we actually MVP a support. I, hey, I'm, I I'm guess that's the goat just, then. Holy shit. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that just goes to show what these high school teams value, which is the the big damage numbers, the big numbers, which we see coming out of players like Aeroline and Yasuo at the end. Yep. Oh my God. Okay. okay. So, well, that about. Thank you so much for joining us, Typical Sounds, and congrats on your win. And we hope to see Staten Island Tech do as well as they did this game in our playoffs. All right, thank you. Have a nice say day. Say good night to you. Have a nice night. All right, good night. All right, All right. ladies and gentlemen, that is looking like that is going to be it for today. That was such an explosive game, and honestly. This is, considering I've only sh shoutcasted for Staten Island Tech so far, I'm glad that they have delivered both times for such entertaining games. Mm -hmm. All right. So you want to sign us off? I guess. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining and being here for this final stream of the 2023 season. And we look forward to you, all of these esports staff here at the role division hopes to see you back for the playoffs coming soon and that is it just make sure to cheer on all of your teams and support your clubs and practice 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 in this downtime until playoffs yeah. that's it everyone and have a good night bye